Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make Christmas crack. So first I'm going to put some foil over this cookie sheet. I'm going to press it flat on the surface and cover all sides, making for sure none of the syrup will get out. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Okay guys, now's the time to pick out what kind of candy you want on top of your Christmas crack. Here I have some peppermint candy. I usually put the peppermint candy on top of the Christmas crack every year. You can put chopped nuts, you can put sea salt, or you can put M&Ms, whatever candy you like. So let's go ahead and open this up and take out half of the peppermint. I know they sell peppermint that's already been crushed up at the store, but I couldn't find any. So I had to individually take these out of the package and crush them on my own. Okay, so I went ahead and got my candy in a Ziploc bag and here I'm crushing it up with my rolling pin. Um, you can do it as fine as you want uh, or as little as you want. I did have some big pieces left in there, but I love peppermint, so I didn't mind having the large pieces on top of my candy. Here I have some saltine crackers. These are the unsalted uh, crackers. Um, you can use the salted crackers if you like. So I'm going to line these crackers all over the cookie sheet until it is full. Now that we got all of our saltine crackers onto the cookie sheet, I'm just going to make sure everything is nicely flat and it's time to go ahead and make our syrup. Okay, let's get out our butter. We have one cup of butter that we need to melt, so that's two sticks of butter going into the pot. Now's the time to go ahead and get out a candy thermometer if you have one. If you don't, you can always uh, use the water test to test out your sugar just to make sure it is at hard boiled stage. Okay, now that our butter is melted and boiling, we're going to measure out one cup of brown sugar and put it into the pot. Go ahead and make sure you stir this consistently. You want to make sure that the sugar is melted and incorporated with the butter and this will start to thicken and um, you're going to have to pour this over your crackers rather quickly after it reaches a hard boiled stage. So it takes a few minutes to do this and it'll start looking like this and you want to reach 250 degrees. Or you can go ahead and get you some ice water. Now the ice water helps when you don't have a thermometer. So if you get you some ice water, you can put it in a cup or whatever you have. And here I have some in this little dish here. And I'm just going to spoon out a little bit of the sugar into the water. And if it is um, hardened quickly and you can pick it up, it's ready to go. And here it's still too mushy. I can't pick it up yet and it's not ready. So a few more minutes and our sugar will be ready to pour over our crackers. Okay guys, this is starting to get really thick really quick. So I'm going to give it a quick stir and make sure it is ready and go ahead and pour it over my crackers. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and pour this all over our crackers. Just pour it all over the crackers. Make sure you're getting every single cracker underneath the syrup. And once you pour it on, you can always use your spoon to spread it out evenly on top of your crackers. So here I'm just taking my spoon. Make sure all of it is evenly coated through the crackers. And now it's time to put this in the oven for five minutes at 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now it's time to pull this out of the oven. Here it should look just like this. And we're going to let this sit just for a few minutes. It's going to start to set up a little bit where the crackers aren't moving so much. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour our chocolate morsels over the top, let it heat up, and spread it all over the crackers. So here I have some dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Um, you can use milk chocolate if you like. Um, here I'm just using my butter knife to make sure all the crackers are set and not moving around. And then I'm going to take um, my bag of chocolate morsels and I'm just going to dump it all over the top of this uh, Christmas crack. And then what I'm going to do is I'll put it in the oven um, where it will melt. I only put it in there for like a minute. And if the chocolate morsels are shiny, then it's time to go ahead and spread it all over your Christmas crack. If you would prefer, you can also use a double boiler to melt your chocolate or melt it in the microwave. Okay, here I have my chocolate morsels all melted. They're shiny and I'm just going to use uh, my tool and just spread it all over the top of the Christmas crack. I'm not real sure where they got the name for this candy. Um, it's been called Christmas Crack for a while, but I can definitely tell you once you try this candy, you will be addicted to it and you will have to have it every Christmas function. Okay, it looks like we have this chocolate spread out as evenly as we can get it. And now it's time to go grab our candy and put it on top of the chocolate. Okay, just take your candy that you have, whatever you prefer, and go ahead and start dropping it over the melted chocolate. And we want to get this uh, where it will stick to the chocolate and not come off when we start to break it into pieces after it cools. Now you can put as little or as much as you want on top of the chocolate. Um, I love peppermint so I'm going to put quite a bit on top of my candy. Um, you can also use uh, mixed nuts, pecans, um, you can use um, M&Ms, sea salt, or you can just leave it plain. It's just as good. Okay, we are done putting the peppermint on, so we're going to go ahead and give you a look of what it looks like. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator for two hours and let it set up. Okay, guys, it has now been two hours, and I have taken my candy out. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this foil off of the bottom of the candy and break it up. Don't worry if the foil sticks a little bit to the bottom of the candy, it will come off. Um, just go ahead and take this off and break it into small uh, bite-sized pieces. And you can store it uh, into an airtight container and um, or you can also store it in your refrigerator since it's already cold but it's kind of humid here and I don't want the chocolate to melt so I'm going to break it up and put it inside of an airtight container and put it in the refrigerator. These are also good uh, gift ideas if you are baking a lot during the holidays it makes a great Christmas gift. I sold this candy to my kids' teachers uh, when they were in school, along with lots of other candies, but this was very popular and the most requested candy that I got.
I want to thank you for watching my channel today and I have lots more Christmas uh, candy videos coming out this week. So subscribe, like if you like the video and hit the bell to be notified when I uh, drop another video. And as always, I thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you in the next video.